what is going on youtube fam we are back and at it again we are going fishing out of holland today I'm gonna go for some king salmon again and hopefully we can uh find some giants so i'm on my way to the boat launch right now had to stop and get my morning coffee so i'm gonna go meet kyle and claude at the launch and hopefully we can find some some good fish so stay tuned and hopefully you guys enjoy YouTube fam, we are out on the water. Uh, we're about 75 foot, uh, 77 foot right now. We're gonna look for some fish and uh, get all set up here and hopefully find some good schools out here. And throughout the day, we're gonna move into deeper water because the fish are gonna push out once the, the heat of the day comes on. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna see what we can get going. What do you want the weight up? Three. Three. Be on the side, don't make it go that way. When you look at it right there, sure, yeah. Be the yeah. The weight always goes on the weight if it, on the inside. See the weight's yep. on the inside, that's going to go the opposite way. side. Yep. All right, doing some setups. Run the diver on. What this is going to do. catch the water pull it out that way it's got a weight on the bottom it's going to keep it down in the water depending on how much line we let out and we're going to throw a fly on a flasher board that does the board goes in the water creates a spinning effect goes down to a fly and the fish love it got it all right What do you want on this one, bud? What's this one called? Looks good, though. I like it. All right. So this one. We're gonna throw the spoon out. How far out you want this? Hundred ten, hundred twenty. Sounds good. Downrigger mini rod. Right? Hold on just a second. I hope that thing gets thumped today. What? what we want to see, but we want to see them on the lines. Anybody? Anybody? She's 
beautiful out today. A couple boats that way, a couple that way. They're gonna clock holes. Here, guys, I'm on the leader. There we go. Oh, butterball. Oh, yeah, I got a griller. All righty. Hold that. And that's large. Set. Oh, he was barely hooked, too. Got it. Up. All righty. Beautiful fish. Look at that. All righty. First one of the trip. Absolute beaut. Snip him and then dig his head down in there. Yep. Put him in there. Good. Look at that. What's this guy? Easy limits. Easy limits going out on a 10 color. Pull back. Come on, fishies. 128. One you said. Spin doctor. No, my bad. Spin doctor. What is that one called? Ryan's Black Magic. Oh. What? A, it's not a spin doctor though. What is it? It's a paddle. It's a paddle. There you go. Because it might have a small trap on it. Good. Fish there. Is it really? Nice. Nope, he popped off. Oh, there was that's too bad. All right, so it was a tough bite today. Uh, moon phase had a lot to do with it. It's been a full moon the past couple days, so fish have been feeding constantly throughout the night. There's a ton of bait around. They are just full up. So we gave it a good go. We went one for one. Um, we had a good time. It's a beautiful day out. So. Yeah, I'm going to probably do a catch and cook on this one. So you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you in the kitchen. So we're back in the kitchen and it is the day after. Uh, fishing was extremely tough that day, but that's fishing. Um, it's not catching. So it was a good time. You know, we were out. It was a beautiful day on the water. Um, we ended up catching one nice salmon. And we got a little piece uh, that I kept for myself. And I'm going to make a quick lunch for me real quick. So... Um, all we're going to do is pan sear some salmon in a cast iron skillet, have some veggies with it, and it's going to be absolutely uh, delicious, I think. So um, what we have is just one piece of, the, this is the part of the tail section, 
And one of the big things that you need to do on the back side of the fish is get rid of essentially the bloodline. And we're gonna end up cutting that right out. Cut into both sides. And there it is. So that's your bloodline. That's gonna give it that weird uh, fishy flavor that you don't like. And that's gonna be your perfect, <laughs> that's gonna be your perfect piece of salmon that's gonna be phenomenal. And then what we're gonna do is use some Everglades fish and chicken today. Season this up liberally, you know, to taste wherever you want. I love this stuff, so I go a little bit heavy on it. We're gonna season both sides. Pat that in. And then over here, I have a cast iron skillet that's heating up. We're gonna get some um, olive oil and some butter heated up in that, and we're just gonna sear this off on both sides real quick. So let's do that. All right, so we have the cast iron skillet heating up. Like I said, we're just gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in there. And a little bit of butter. About that much. Get that going. That's on a, a medium to medium high heat. We want to get a little bit of a crust on this fish. So we're going to end up putting that in right now, actually. And always, when you lay your fish in a pan, lay away from you. That way any greases or oils don't splash onto you. So we're going to let that cook a couple minutes. We're going to turn it over, cook it a couple minutes on that side. And it's quick and easy, just like that. And I think she's ready to flip. Perfect. A little bit of color on there. She can go for maybe two to three more minutes and we should be good to go. Okay, she is ready to pull off. It's nice and cooked, you can tell. Uh, pretty much because the side of the fish is cooked white all the way through. Um, and let's pull her off. Grab the handle here. Turn the gas off. On that right there. All right. And then all I have is the pan seared salmon, a little bit of peppers and uh, baked Brussels sprouts, and it looks phenomenal, looks delicious. I'm hungry. Let's get a fork. Let's try this salmon. Fresh caught king salmon from Lake Michigan. I mean, look how flaky and white that flesh is. It's steaming. Let's give it a go. Oh man, salmon, it's delicious, it's flaky, it's juicy, it's, I've lost for words, it's just, it, it's delicious. So hopefully you guys liked it, hopefully you guys liked this video. I know it was a, it was a tough fish, um, we only caught one, but it saved the day. So uh, we didn't get skunked, um, this was absolutely amazing, hopefully you guys liked it. I appreciate you guys watching, I really do. So. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button to see when other videos get dropped. And until uh, next time, you guys have a good one. All right, we can't leave Rosie out. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs>